Hey everybody, so it's been about almost five years actually since I've done the last video on how to make glittered ornaments. So I figured today is a good time to do an updated video on how to make these glittered ornaments. Okay, so first thing you're gonna need is your actual ornaments, okay? It doesn't matter if they're glass or plastic, either one's totally fine. Um, I like these disc shape ornaments just because they're easier, they have more of a flat surface on the front to apply vinyl, but it doesn't matter. You can use glass, you can use plastic, you can use this shape, you can use the regular round shape. Um, it really doesn't matter what shape ornament or if it's glass or plastic, okay? The other thing you're gonna need is your glitter. Okay, so today we're gonna use two different glitters. We're gonna use uh, Pixie Dust, which is an ultra fine glitter, and then we're gonna use Hay Heifer, which is a chunky red glitter. So you can use chunky glitter or you can use ultra fine. It doesn't matter um, as far as that goes either. Okay, and then the last thing is your adhesive or what you're gonna use to actually um, make the glitter stick to the inside of your ornament. My all-time favorite is polycrylic. I like the clear gloss kind. It looks like this. You can get it at Lowe's, you can get it at Walmart. Um, but this is definitely the way to go. Uh, a lot of people will use like floor wax, um, mop and glow, that kind of stuff. There's nothing wrong with that for short term, but if you're doing this for a business and you want something that's gonna last years and years and years and years, you wanna use something more like polycrylic. Um, you gotta realize like ornaments is, are stored all over the place in attics, in hot places. Polycrylic will be able to withstand that, but if you use something like mop and glow or floor cleaner, um, you're gonna see like streaks go down your uh, ornament over time. So if you want repeat customers, definitely get something that will last. So polycrylic is my favorite. And while we're talk talking about that, this is actually one of the ornaments I made in that video five years ago, four and a half years ago, something like that. And it has been on our tree every year. It's been stored, it's moved states, and it is still looking great. Just so you can have an idea of how well the polycrylic works, okay? So I just figured y'all would like to see that. I am super impressed and it's nice to see uh, what something looks like five years later, okay? And this is polyester glitter in here. Um, so I do recommend sticking with polyester glitter, okay? So let's get started. Okay, before we actually pour any uh, polycrylic into our ornament, you're gonna need something to put the ornament in for it to drip out while we wait. Okay, so see how this works? It doesn't, so we're gonna make it work. Okay, so we're gonna take this cup and we're just gonna cut two little notches in it like that. And then the, on the other side, two other little notches. All right, we're gonna cut this extra off. There's one. There's two. Okay, so all we did was just make a nice place for our ornament to sit so that any extra polycrylic can drip out. Um, the goal is you wanna have just a thin layer, layer of polycrylic and you're gonna put it in this cup and you're gonna let any extra drip out before you add any glitter or anything like that. Okay, so we're gonna take this top off of our ornament and we'll show you what to do with this later. Okay, and you are going to want something. It is a lot easier if you put your polycrylic in something. This is just one of those ketchup bottles. I got it from Walmart four or five years ago. This is that same bottle that I used in that first video. Um, so something like this works great. Or you can get something like this, these little squeeze bottles we have on our website, uh, www.zendy.com. And all this does is just make it a lot easier to get the polycrylic into your ornament, okay? So we're gonna pop this top off, get our ornament, and we're gonna just pour some polycrylic in there. Don't worry if you put too much or too little, you can always, it's gonna just drip out, and then if you put too little, you can always add. And so all we're gonna do is turn this ornament to evenly coat everything. I'm gonna add a little more. Okay. 
Also, if you get any bubbles or anything like that in it, don't worry. As it sits and drips out, all of that will go away. All right, I'm gonna do it over my cup just in case anything falls out while I get this last bit. All right, so that's perfect. So we're gonna just put this here and we're gonna let this sit. I don't know if y'all can see this in the video, but you see how it has like that bluish tint to it? Uh, we're basically gonna let it sit till it stops dripping and that bluish tint kind of goes away. It'll look more clear. 15 minutes is usually perfect. So um, anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes will be your happy spot for that. But uh, 15 minutes is usually what you wanna do. So while this dries, let's go ahead and do another one. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take our cup. Just cut that opposite side. And if you have like smaller cups or cups that are uh, able, to, like cordboard type cups, you can do different things. But these are the cups I have, so this is what we're gonna do. All right, perfect. All right, let's do the other one. We're gonna take that out. Same thing, we're gonna put polyacrylic in there. And we're just gonna coat the inside of this ornament. Super easy. Also, if you see a bubble in there, if you take that, if you see what's, I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a bubble in there, it actually popped. But a lot of times if you get that pool of polyacrylic to go to the bubble, you can actually move the bubble out of the ornament super easy. Add a little more. Get our cup. Get those last few spots covered. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna let these sit for 15 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll add our glitter. All right, guys and girls, it's been uh, 15 minutes, so let's go ahead and do one of our ornaments. Let me get this glitter open before I touch the ornaments. Okie dokie. All right, so let's go with the first one we did. We're just gonna let it, see how it's more clear now and less bluish tint. And I'm gonna get some of that extra off on this paper and just move this aside. Okay, so from here, we are going to, let's do the red chunky first. So this is Hay Heifer. We're just gonna put some glitter on here to easily get in our ornament. And don't worry, if you don't use all the glitter, you can still save it even after it goes into the ornament. Okay, so we have our ornament, we have our glitter, and we're gonna just pour that in. Also something to be aware of when you're using chunky glitter, um, if you have trouble with it uh, giving it a good coat, you can always mix some ultra fine in with it just to fill in any of those holes. This is uh, our Zindi glitter and our ultra, our chunky has quite a bit of ultra fine in it. So we didn't need to do that in this case. So we're just putting our glitter in and just rotating it and covering all the edges, all the spots. Let's get a little more. And you can use a funnel to do this too if you want. Whatever floats your boat. All right. We're 
just going to look at it real quick, see if we missed any spots. I'm going to do it one more time just to be safe. Alrighty, and that's it. It is that easy. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let this ornament dry for about two hours before we put the top on. I mean, an hour is usually plenty, but two hours to be safe. So we're going to let that dry for two hours. While this is drying, let's go ahead and do the other one, and then I'll show you what we can do next before it dries. All right, put that back. Got to save the glitters. Okay. Now let's do the pixie dust ornament. All right, same thing. Any of this extra is going to pat off. Move this aside. And we're gonna do some pixie dust. I love this glitter, it is so pretty. Make it easy to pour. Get our ornament. We're just gonna pour that in our ornament, like so. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to turn and coat the ornament. Ultra fine glitter is a lot easier to work with for this than the, the chunky, but the chunky is still not bad. Easy peasy. There's another glittered ornament. Same thing with this. We're going to let that dry. All right, you guys. Um, so we let this sit for a while. So let's go ahead and decorate it. Okay. So for the red one, we're actually going to put the word Rudolph on it. Um, this is actually just a top of a solo cup that I cut and taped the side just so I can have something to place this ornament on while we're applying the decal. Okay, so these are the, this is the decal we're gonna do. I'm just gonna kind of fold it in half so I have an idea of where the middle is just to help me place it, okay? All I did was bend the backing, the, the not the backing, the transfer tape a little bit so that I can see where that goes. All right. So we're gonna put that right in the middle. Rub that down. All right, and we're going to remove this transfer tape. Super cute. So we have our Rudolph one. And let's go ahead and do the other one. This one is going to be a Vixen. We're gonna do a whole set of these, but for the video, I'm just gonna show y'all two, Rudolph and Vixen. But we're gonna do all the reindeer. And I do have a cut file on the site that has all the reindeer names in this font, if you're interested in that, if you don't wanna to have to make it yourself. All right, same thing. We're gonna put Vixen in the middle. Just like that. And just be aware, anytime you're applying decals on a round surface like this, you just wanna work 
uh, slower than you would if it was a flat surface. You know, so just focus from the in, from the middle out and just do one letter at a time. All right, and we're just gonna roll the transfer tape off like that. Super cute, so we have Vixen and Rudolph. So we have our two glittered ornaments. Okay, so now, finishing touches. We're gonna put those aside. I'm gonna show you how to do these little top pieces, okay? Um, because what you wanna make sure is that you don't scratch the inside um, of your tumbler, uh, not your tumbler, oh goodness, the inside of your ornament when you're putting this in, okay? Because these little wire things will scratch the glitter off the inside of your ornament. So what I did first, if you're gonna put ribbon on it, I suggest tying it before you do this next step. It just makes it easier. Okay, so we're gonna pull this off. We're gonna squeeze these in and pull this off. Like that. Okay, and then we're gonna take some wire cutters and we're gonna cut some of this extra off, okay? So that this extra part is not scratching the glitter off the inside of your ornament. About like that, okay? So you wanna have about that much left. Okay, so we're gonna put this back in here like this. Okay, so we got that in. We're gonna put our bow back where it goes. Okay, so now the inside of this will look like this. So you won't have all that extra wire. So at this point, what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna glue this onto your ornament. Okay, I'm just gonna set it, set it on there so you can see. Um, but what you wanna use is hot glue or even a, um, uh, something like this is fine, a multi-purpose glue, just something to glue the top of your ornament on. And so you'll glue the top of that on and then you'll have your finished ornament like this. So this is Rudolph and just so you can see what the Vixen one will look like. Once you glue that on and tie your bow, it'll be like this. So we have our Vixen and our Rudolph and super easy glitter ornaments. So I hope that was helpful, you guys, um, of what you need to actually glitter ornaments. It's super, super easy. It's a great selling item, um, and they will last for years and years and years as long as you use the right materials. So if you have any questions, please comment below. I have more videos to come, and y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye.